Hello everyone, I am Preeti from Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Cyber Security. Today I want to discuss about superconductivity. In this topic, I want to discuss about introduction to superconductivity, types of superconductivity, London's equations, applications, challenges and limitations, and conclusion about superconductivity. Introduction to superconductivity or superconductivity is a phenomena where certain materials exhibit zero electrical resistances. Superconductors can carry electric currents without any energy loss. Superconductive was first discovered in 1911 by Ike Kamerling Wunsch. Types of superconductors are there are two main types of superconductor type 1 and type 2 conductors. The superconductor lost their superconducting properties when subjected to a strong magnetic field. Type 1 superconductors expel magnetic fields completely below a critical temperature. Type 2 superconductor can tolerate higher magnetic fields before losing their superconducting properties. Type 2 conduct semiconductors are more commonly used due to their higher critical temperatures. Meissner effect. The Meissner effect is the expulsion of magnetic fields from interior of a superconductor. When superconductor is cooled below its critical temperature, it expulses any applied magnetic field. This effect allows superconductors to alleviate above magnets, known as leviation. This effect occurs below the critical temperature and results in perfect diagnosis. The Meissner effect is a defining characteristic of superconductivity. Zero resistance. A superconductor has zero resistance. A superconductor is a material that can conduct electricity or transport electrons from one atom to another with no resistance. This means current can pass through the material without losing any heat energy. Superconductor exhibits zero electrical resistance below the critical temperature. This property allows for efficient transmission of electric current. Zero resistance enables the certain of powerful electromagnets and efficient power transmission lines. Critical temperature. Critical temperature is the temperature below which a material becomes superconducting. Different superconducting materials have different critical temperature. The goal is to find superconductor with higher critical temperature for practical applications. Increasing research focuses on discovering superconductors with higher critical temperatures. Cooper pace. Superconductivity is explained by the formation of Cooper pace. Cooper pace are the pace of electrons with opposition spins and momentum. These pace are bound together by lattice vibration known as phonons. Cooper pace are pace of electrons that form at low temperatures in superconductors. These pace are held together by lattice vibrations. Cooper pace are low for the flow of electric current without scattering. London's equation. The London's equation developed by brothers Fritz and Einstein London in 1935 are constitutive relations for a superconductor relating its superconducting current to two electromagnetic fields in and around it. London's equation describes the behavior of superconductors in presence of magnetic field. This equation explains the Meissner effect and the exp expulsion of magnetic fields. Type 2 superconductors. Type 2 superconductors can tolerate higher magnetic field before losing their superconducting properties. Type 2 superconductors have a mixed state below the critical temperature. They allow for the penetration of magnetic field in the form of vortexes or flux lines. Type 2 superconductors are used in applications such as MRI machines and practical accelerators. Applications of superconductivity. Superconducting magnets are used in MRI machines. The high magnetic field produced by superconducting magnets allow for the detailed imaging of the human body. Superconducting magnets provided better image quality and higher resonance compared to conventional management. Superconducting power cables can transmit electricity with minimal loss. High temperature superconductors are high temperature superconductors have critical temperature above the boiling point of liquid nitrogen minus 196 degrees Celsius. 
high temperature superconductor materials offer the potential for more practical applications due to the ease of the cooling with liquid nitrogen research in high temperature superconductors materials is focused on finding materials with even higher critical temperatures superconducting electronics superconductor electronics are functional electronic circuits incorporating active elements that are superconducting below the critical temperature normal conducting resistors may be included if functionally necessary superconducting electronics offer the potential for ultra low power consumption high, uh, high speed computing application include superconducting qubits for quantum computing and superconducting digital circuits superconducting leviation when it enters its superconducting state while being close to a powerful magnet the magnetic field penetrates the vbco by means of quantized flux lines called vertices which causes it to leviate to onto the powerful magnet superconducting leviation is achieved by placing a superconductors above a magnet the misner effect replaces the magnetic field causing the superconductor of leviate superconducting energy storage they store energy in the magnetic field created by passing direct current through the superconducting coil because the coil is cooled below its superconducting critical temperature the system experiences virtually no resistive loss superconducting energy store system store electrical energy from a magnetic field this system can release the stored energy rapidly making them useful for power grid stabilization superconducting energy storage offers high efficiency and long lifetime superconducting magnets the superconducting magnet is just like a regular electromagnet except that there is no resistance to electricity if it's a resistive coil you are losing power and it's generating it there is no heat generation here so you are not losing energy superconducting magnets are used in various fields including practical accelerators and magnetic resonance imaging these magnets can generate a magnetic field with minimal energy loss advances in superconducting magnet technology have enabled new scientific discoveries and medical diagnostics superconducting power transmission superconducting power transmission cables can carry large amount of electricity over a long distances this cable minimizes energy loss and reduces the need of additional power generation superconducting power transmission has the potential to revolutionize the electrical grid challenges and limitations of superconductors cooling superconductors to low temperatures is energy intensive and costly fabrication and integration of superconducting materials with conventional electronic is challenging high temperature superconductors require further research to improve their performance and practicality current research and future prospects of superconductivity a research focuses on discovering new high temperature superconductors developing practical applications for superconducting electronics and energy storage is priority conclusion for superconductivity or superconductivity is a fascinating phenomena that offers numerous benefits in various fields continued research and technological advancement in superconductivity will shape the future of energy electronics and scientific discoveries thank you so much for watching my video